Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is from an online league set up by my good friend Donny Peters, amongst a bunch of other friends. It's basically a 12 week league where 8 of your best results count towards the end of league standings. There are payouts for each week as well as the final standings. This footage you're about to see is from my Twitch channel and you can follow live on Mondays, but in the meantime, here is a downloaded recording of all the action. Let's do it. Hello everyone. Well, how are you doing? We're back. Mixed feelings. Week 7. Should be getting underway in about a minute. I did miss last week. I was up in Edmonton. I did play, though. Played for about an hour. I uh, actually drew a table with four people sitting out, so pretty much stole the blinds for ten minutes. Then Han sat down, battled a bit, and Faith joined us. Ended up getting my 3k stack up to 6k. Um, and then after that, I pretty much sat out. And let's just fix these tables right now. Hmm. Well, yeah. Pretty much sat out and got blinded out in fourth. So it was my best result and I wasn't even playing. <clears throat> we are going to pull up the little table too once we start. Give me a sec. Wait, uh, pull it up and crap. Nope. There's that one. Give me a sec, guys, while I set this up. I think I'll just wait. I'll just play one table for now. Alright. <clears throat> We're ready. Let's do this. See what we got on this table. What is 7 plus 6? Mickey Duft. Master of Pooh 8, like always. High 5, Bren Harrington, and Bloodlow here on my right. Sick. He's pat. <clears throat> We're gonna peel one more off. Doesn't matter. Gonna peel one more off. Hmm. Eight six five. Let's just uh, lead out. Now we ship it. First hand of the day. Take it down. Easy game. Let's <clears throat> Alright, let's play. Let's play the rush. Let's play the rush. On the other table, only four of them so far. Two people sitting out. You guys are soft. Everyone's sitting out. Alright, we made an eight a rough eight here. I, think I can't really stand the heat, but we are not folding yet. Hmm, hey Skip, I'm patting with you. I'm checking though. Nice hand, nice hand, nice hand, nice hand. Alright guys, I was just up in Canada. A little cold up there. Covered the Deep Stack Poker Tour event. It was pretty fun. <clears throat> I am actually currently editing a vlog for it. So, I need you all get on uh, get on my YouTube channel and subscribe like video share for really images don't really know put up a couple videos already we got one on how to play some mixed games for some novices Got one on the mixed games here in Las Vegas for spring. I'll do another one once the World Series 
a couple of days before the World Series kicks off. Uh, I got one from week one of Mixed Feelings. I'm going to upload a bunch of, obviously, all the weeks. If you're watching on this, you obviously don't need to watch on YouTube. And then I have a vlog I'm posting today, maybe tomorrow morning. We have some hand analysis stuff, so it's probably going to come by the end of the week. But for in the meantime, let's get through this one. Let's raise it up. <clears throat> Now, like I said, I got fourth last week, got some points. I am still stuck in ninth, and the funny thing is, everyone above me has cashed for money. They've either won or come second. I'm sitting there in ninth. 22 points, though. It's a launching pad. That's what matters. Last week, uh, Han got his first victory over Faith Heads Up. Uh, looks like Han is not playing today. Do you want to? I'm gonna bet one more time. Out of position, which kind of sucks. Hmm, interesting spot. I wonder if we should lead. Could have a nine. Could have a ten. We also have an eight seven. I think he raised me with an eight six. I think we have the best eight seven. So I'm gonna bet here. You can have a rough 8 7, you can have a 9 or a 10. Looks like I'm bluffing too. Let's pull up his hand. Give me a sec. Hit a 9. 9 6. We've got the best value there. <clears throat> so we'll take a look at the scoreboard here. We've got Grumpy is leading the charge. Is he playing? Yeah, he's playing. 61 points. Mixed Maniac Faith, 51 points. She's playing too. Master of Pearl on our table, 48. Strong lead for those guys. Uh, Happy Freak is next, 39. And there's a it's bunched up. Don Peters, uh, Bloodload 12, Rip Marty, and Han are all pretty uh, bunched up. And then it's me. It's I punt to you. Who's not playing? High five. Who's up here on the right? Is he Pat? Is Ben Pat? Oh, God, must be nice. All right, you can have it. You know, you can have it. And then what is seven plus six? Mickey Duff sitting last. Mickey, you need a win. You need a win. But what do we got? We got another five minutes until uh, registration ends. So a couple of people need to get some points here today, including myself. Including myself. Maybe I should just sit out every week. That's probably the best result after what happened last week. I was up in Canada, I got to play about 40 minutes, and then there was a player dinner, I mean um, a work dinner slash player party. Went to that, I could have played on my my phone, but you know, I didn't want to be that guy. Plus I didn't want to burn through a bunch of dollars on the Wi-Fi, I mean on the, um, on the phone bill. Plus since it was four sitting out, well wait, yeah, it was four at the time when I, when I left. I was always finishing above them, so I was always guaranteed a six and five, eleven. I was pretty much guaranteed a final table, but you never know. I could have made it back in time. I didn't, but I could have. All mine. <clears throat> so I was playing up in Canada. I was playing on stars. I was firing off spinning guys. It's like the greatest thing in the world, guys. You gotta, you gotta get involved. Basically, there's a like dollar or three dollars or seven dollars, and there's a jackpot. So for three dollars, jackpot's thirty thousand. You play three-handed hyper turbo. Winner takes all, unless it's a jackpot. If it's a jackpot. Second and third get payout. So for the thirty thousand, I think they get five thousand each. So we're playing that nonstop. Thirty 
Three dollars, try to win thirty thousand, or at least five k. Sounds pretty darn good. Played a couple of seven dollars, a couple of ten ten dollars is a million for first. So that was pretty huge. Played a couple of them, no good in them. No good in the seven, I don't think. Three is where we played the most. We're gonna call him. We're playing loose. It's okay, it's Mickey Duff. Should we check raising? Let's check raising. And then just lead out. Yeah, show. Sure. You sure? I don't know if that worked. Got him! Got him! We're gonna peel one off here? I don't know. Nah. Looks like Donnie Peters is in the game. We're still waiting on uh, Remco. Maybe he's not. He's not playing it out, I don't know. But we've got about. What do we got? A minute? Yeah, I think a minute. No, I think that's it. I think everyone's locked out. I can't. Can I at least post a link? So guys, if you can, if you're watching, please uh, head over to my YouTube channel, subscribe. Watch some videos. I really need to get to a hundred subscribers because I can change my name from THKC Duckworth to uh, Tramstop. So I need a hundred if you guys would do me the honor. Please, one time. Alright, we're gonna even a low drop. We got literally no high. Back door, something, something. We ain't gonna give away too many chips here. We're gonna just play it conservative. I think I am. Ooh, that's a good card for us. Gives us a flush draw. Probably got ace dose, so we're just still gonna check. So let's go call. Need a heart, didn't get it. Probably always, nearly always getting caught in here. Oh! 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 Guys, you see that? Did you see that? What do you have, Master? King, Queen, Eight, Deuce. Well played. Well played. Well. <sighs> Looks like no harm tonight. No. Rip Marty, no. Um, I punt to you. They're too good for us. They all needed points. I mean, maybe I Punty is given up, but Rip Marty and Han are sitting on the bubble of the threshold in that 33 point mark. 
they get a win, get a cash, they're going to jump up into third, maybe. Maybe fourth, fifth. I mean, second, first. You never know. Let's have a look at the chip counts. Doesn't look like there's much going on right now. Uh, Faith out in the lead, 3,700. I'm surprisingly in second. 35, 36 pretty much. We got Mickey Duft. And then actually pretty much everyone's sitting, sitting on the same. Minus uh, Bloodlow here and Grumpy on the other table. Face asking in the chat box. Updated standing somewhere. They're on Twitch, babe. Gotta go on Twitch. She is. I'm gonna tell her that she's in second. Matt saying cheap plug to get viewers. Hell yeah! I'd rather YouTube subscribers, to be honest. Can't really make money off Twitch. You can make some money off YouTube. Pretty small. A couple bucks. <clears throat> I need that Doug Polk audience. He's getting, he gets all the bank. What do I have in seen? Make uh, I could get at least half, I think. And looks like the Cavs are going to take game two. Should have lost game one. Wish I did. I hate the Cavs. Bulls got a nice win. Donnie's probably pretty mad about that. Big Boston homer. Oh, he didn't really like his team this year. I mean, it's not great. He needs something else. Feel bad for Isaiah Thomas. So that's kind of sad. What are we playing? We're playing some Raz. We are going. It's a Mickey's favorite game, but we're gonna battle. We're gonna battle. Don't worry, we're completing. It goes full fall. Because you know, when he's eighth complete, the hands has to be like nutted. So, we just let it go. So, we could win this part too, depending on what these two do. We might even, like... Like Cole, what's this call I'm trying to I'm trying to get him? Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's go for like the fifth street bluff. That ain't gonna work. We needed like a seven, then an eight, and a deuce, and he needed to go like five, nine, jack, jack. Didn't work. Nice hand. Let's try again. Cut. Should go far far. There it is. Get the chips back. Get more back because Matt was in. Let this one go. Shave. Ah, look at these, these two undercards are pretty. Hasten hey, six. Just for your faith. 
Face finally on Twitch. After asking for the standings. There you go. Wasn't so hard, was it, Faith? Was not so hard. Just put up the uh, command for the leaderboard in the chat. Faith is currently in second. She just basically needs to outlast Matt going forward because she has a small buffer on him. I mean, obviously, outside of her winning another one and him busting first, but ideally, she's basically got to last longer than him every time. Let's keep that one point buffer. Sounds easy. It's actually kind of hard. But I faith did, uh, did subscribe to my YouTube channel this week, so and I trolled. I tried to troll her pretty bad via text messages. I don't know if I I got her. Maybe I can bring him up. I don't believe it. Good card for us. Better card for him. He could have been should have paid one of these, surely, right? Surely he's got a pair. I don't believe you, Matt. I just don't. I got an eight. I'm calling you down. Oh, you got a seven? Oh, nice hand, nice hand. You did pair, though. I was winning. Follow at Matt M. Following finally. Ben Lado asking why is Bill Walton not in the standings? His name has been changed. Had some problems with his uh, PokerStars account. He is now I punt to you. I believe. I'm not really sure what happened there. But he's in. He's playing. Not today, but he's in. What do we got? We got a game change coming. They're getting the money, guys. Need to bad. Can't keep bricking. Oh, interesting. Brent has to have at least a six. Like a six. Like six perfect. Wait, when he calls with the king and the queen, he has to have like the ace three, ace four in the hall. Or five, pretty much the same thing. Catches the ace. I can't, remember, I can't remember Ben's board. I think he had a six up. He had a rough six, maybe he had a seven. But when you get raised on the river, it's like it's so polarized. Ben had a he had a ten. Bad call, Ben. I don't think he's ever bluffing. All right, we're switching the game. We're playing start high. Two hearts are dead. We've got nine dead too. We are not afraid. We're going to complete. Little Mickey's a little on the weaker side, so he should fold most. You know, hands that will probably continue. We got some action. Wonder what Matt has. Matt could have a low pay. He could have a pair of split deuces. We need to catch like an eight, a ten, a six, a heart. Something to get him to fold that low pair. We called. So the card we wanted. He's probably going to just bet his pair here. So it's probably, even if it's better than deuces, even if it's fives, sixes, maybe it's a nines. It's unlikely to be nines, actually. Two nines are dead. I think tens, he three bets, so maybe made two pair. Let, let it go. And with that hand, we drop to fourth in chips. Yeah.
We're going to complete here if we get a chance. We're going to pressure Mickey as much as we can today. There it is. We are not afraid of him defending at all. Pressure the weak one. Pressure him. Okay, we need answer. <laughs> Matt's commenting in the chat box. Tim, I brought you some viewers with the promise you will shit talk me a bit. I mean, yeah, of course I will. I'm just gonna commentate on your play. Don't need to make anything up. Now you're okay. You're getting your results. You're getting you're crushing it. Not much to shit talk about when you're crushing it. And there he falls. See you later, Ben. No good. No good. Hand in the muck. Matt is the only player I don't know, personally. But I feel like getting to know each getting getting to know him on the table. He basically just crushes me nonstop. I think we've drawn the same table every week, but maybe one, maybe two. He just always has it. PLO, I have the second nut flush, he has a nut flush. 2 7, he has an 8. I have an 8 6, he has an 8 6 move. Cons consistently beats me. Alright, we got a hand here against Mickey. Like I said, he plays a little on the tight side. So when he calls against my king and calls with a 9, you have to figure him for, a, for an overpair. He might have tripped up with the queens, but. We tripped up. We are not afraid to bet. Let's represent Queen Jack at least. Queen dead, I think uh, Brent up here had a jack. Maybe. Alright. That could be his flush, but we got full house. Full house. We could check to him. Has he got a flush? That's the question. If he has a flush, he should bet. So let's check. Hope he bets. Put the check raise in. Now it looks like maybe I just have a pair of kings. I'm scared, you know. I'm scared of his flush. I wonder if he's smart. He's gonna fall for the trap. Is he gonna fall? No, he didn't. Try to <clears throat> try to throw it out and wheel him in. Didn't work. I think maybe against the type I should just bet. Maybe against a loser player. Maybe just maybe that line works. I don't know. It's iffy. I mean, just with his hand range, I mean, unless he has, like, if he has, like, if he has puck jacks with a jack of hearts, he's never betting. He has three queens, he's always betting. You know, it's a hand, you know, I feel like he has to have a flush, right? Let's have a, let's have a, let's have a look. If he had a flush and checked, god damn, you're good, Mickey. But then you pay me off, so, it's not so good. Alright, we got ace, three, four, two deuces dead. But we are not folding this hand. Mickey Duff, he had split sixes, terrible hand. Split sixes with an eight of hearts. So when I checked to him, he had a pair of sixes and a flush draw. That's a very good check behind. Pretty standard check behind, but I mean, that's the bottom of his range, a pair of sixes. So anything above that, like a bigger pair, up to a bigger pair with like, the, like a pair of jacks with a heart, He's checking. Anything above that, he ha he'll probably bet. So, we got him in the... How do we catch this deuce? How do we catch him? We just bet. Faith is... Uh, Faith just said his nickname is Ozzy Dick in the chat. And then Automod held this message. I allow it. Yeah. Alright, we got fours up. We got a scary looking board. Ideally, really, really. I mean, what does he have? Does he have the low or the high? Do we want the five or do we want the four? We get the brick. We get the brick. Brick city. Hey, uh, do you have the low Ben? You limp called the deuce. You could just have an eight low. But my board's so scary, man. This is a time I can definitely. Deuce. We kept calling, didn't bet. Feels more like. 
Nah. I don't know. Stop and call. Nice catch. Nice river. Nice suck out. It's okay. Jack six deuce. Well played, Ben. Oh well, can't win them all, guys. Can't win them all. It's gonna drop us down. Oh, we're still in the lead. Faith must have lost a big hand up here. Let's pull it up. Um, not really. She had split sevens, made aces up against five for beats a low, and then against the flush. Okay. We're also pretty clumped, obviously. I would have a lot more if Ben didn't just suck out there. Yeah, who can? We're gonna play this hand. We're just gonna fire off tonight. As I was a please aggro. Trying to chip up. Put us in a spot to win. Let's three bet him. Let's take it heads up. It's battle Ben. Oh oh, Mickey Duff sin. I'm gonna pump breaks a bit. Six is up. One five blocked. Really worried about Mickey Duff. We need to get him duffed out somehow. At one point, give him some paint. We need to catch like a three, four, a deuce. Something to scare him off. That's not it. And looks like Ben's got three little spades again. Checks. Two cut for us. Eight. Ace. Hey, uh, really? I don't know. Stop and we call. Am I going to get lucky on Ben? Hopefully. He could have 9 5. Okay, kind of 9 5. He could have 9 8. <laughs> oh! Be back. What do you have? Ugh, nine's up. <laughs> Three outs, bang. Got him. Got him. Justice for that last beat. What are we playing? We're playing the Cadillac. Donny Peters, the Cadillac. Who said it this week? I think he was having a, a, tw a Twitter war, not a war, a Twitter battle with one of the Hinkle brothers, Uncle Ron. What did he call it? God, I can't remember. Mine's blank. Something lame. And it's like, no, it's the Cadillac. I gotta pull it up now. The champ, he's going the champagne of poker. All right, I think I was like, I descripted the bubbly feeling as alliteration to champagnes of poker. How does Cadillac make sense? I don't know, but it sounds. Donald, Donald Bronson said it's Cadillac poker, so therefore it's a Cadillac. Simple. We got the pocket queens. Probably should have three bet that king queen of spades there out of the big blind, but it's okay. We can live. We are gonna three about this one. We're gonna make it to twenty-five. A little on the bigger side, we are out of position. Mickey Duff's in the tank. Uh oh. Maybe he's thinking I'm doing something good. No, he's out. Alright, up to Brent. He calls. Hmm, how should we play this? 
I think they're passive. We could bet small. Let's bet small. <clears throat> I think we have the best hand. There's eights or nines here. That's not a good card for us. I think we're going to check call, check call. We could lead here, but I want to get to showdown. Let's see. Let's see how he plays it. I'm hoping he keeps it small. 300, 400. Terrible card. Maybe the worst card in the deck. Outside of Panice. He checks. It's probably... Wait, did he check? Yeah, he checked, right? Yeah. I mean, he could have tens. He could have ace king. He could have pocket threes. And he had he had ace queen. So he was drawing slim to the ace. Peeled one. He probably should have bluffed the turn. But <clears throat> oh well, we win. We win another. And then on the way, 30, 60, 60 plus half, 75. Yeah, I need to change my auto bets. Sizing. Not a big deal. Guys, I'm chip leader. 4,200. Keep it on the down low. Keep it on the down low. But behind me, we got Donnie, 3,300. Grumpy, 3,300 too. Matt up here, 3,300. Faith, 3,000. And then it's all on the sunny sack, the rest. Brent, 28. What is 7 plus 6, 24. Happy Freak, who is sitting out. So 2,200. He's going to. You know what? Let's think about this. And Ben, sorry, on the bottom, 2,100. But Happy Freak has 2,200. Does he make the final table? What do you guys think? Can I start a, how do I start a poll? Does Happy Freak? Wait, oh no, because I can't see the other table. My point's not important. We got PLO. You know, bump it up to nano, nano chips. 90 betting discs to go. Not a bad hand. H Jack 10, 4 double suited. We're going to scoop this pot. We are not going to defend this one. It makes it big. It made it big. Scary big. We just got a pair of fives. Ace ten. Mmm. We got a little wheel draw. I think we got clubs, so let's check. No club spades. Backdoor spades. Wheel. Backdoor Broadway. We got it all. All of it. We would have flopped the toppest of pairs with the back door street door, sorry. Oh. Looks like Dutch Boy just started a stream. What do you guys think of Dutch Boy? <clears throat> I'm not sure about him. I'm iffy. Look at this. Trips. Triples. Triple kingos. Stream wise, he's hit or miss. He has these weird, like, funky graphics behind him. Like, green screen stuff. That's just, like, odd to me. And sometimes he has, um. Oh, two full houses. Gross. That was a gross hand. I 
Um, yeah, and he, and he like superimposes like weird images behind him. But otherwise, it's like a bookcase, which I prefer. But then half the time, he's rambling about other stuff like politics. And then he goes back to poker. I wish he just kind of stay with poker. But I think he's okay. I don't know. Not sold yet. What are you doing? What are you doing? I got top this pair. Alright, fine. Mickey Duff, early chip leader, 4900. I'm gonna try and best, but we're gonna try and bust Ben. Looks like. What do we got here? We got this straight? No. Oh, boo. Let's try to draw. Only seven. Seven of spades. Mickey, let's just bust him. What are you doing? Of course he has a nuts. Seven, I win. Oh, drop it up. Oh no, here's the six. Oh wait, here's the same. Wow. Must be nice. And you got a doogie. Alright, one down. Ben out. See you, Ben. Ben is moving to LA in a couple of weeks. Gonna stop, stop via the Duckworth house one day on his way. I think he's gonna time it so it's a Monday. We can uh, play mixed feelings together. I don't really know how that's gonna work actually. I don't know if we can play Pokestar's home games in the same house. But it's home games. Do they really care? I don't know. We'll send Ben off to McDonald's, play on the Wi-Fi. Anyway, let's go back to Dutch Boy. Yeah, I don't know. Not sold. Not sold yet. He did win something in Venetian the other day, I think, for like 60. Or 40 or something. Something big, something nice. Alright, we're about to do the 7. Caught pretty lightly with 6, 8, 3 and a big. One bet though. Drew 2 called Deuce, best card I could catch. I'm catching one. We're at one. He drew two. I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna find out where I am. Gotta find out. Always find again. You know, if if Brent here was drawing two, whatever he catches, whatever Matt catches, he should just raise. Try and push one guy out. Go heads up in position. I'll make it ten. It's one one. It's close. I mean, when I say it's close, it's close if I should, like, bet. Like, what I was saying is, is it close if I should bet, pat, check. Who raises me, huh? Question is, am I going to call and draw? Am I going to call and pat? Or am I going to fold? This scares me a little bit. I'm sorry. What am I drawing to? A four or five? Can I even win the hand? Four or five? So iffy. So tight. Faith saying with Ronan <laughs> Dutch. Like when he argued with his girlfriend on the stream. I haven't heard him argue yet, actually. Heated debates, yes. Argue, no. But I like how she moderates. She like moderates his chat. Like people fire off questions and she's like, so what do you think? And then she asks the question. Um, and I'm drawing there? I don't know. I, what was the action? Oh, Pat Pat. Yeah, I was dead. And I could beat him. I could beat Matt because he was roughest eight. But um, basically, Brent, had, Brent missed value. Today. It's smooth. Missed a lot of value. We're gonna try and button steal this. <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> Who this guy for? Don't tell anybody. Let me check. <laughs> he didn't see that, obviously. This guy to where we're tired. Oh, so close to a wheel. We're gonna bet though. This guy won. Oh, got a ten. No draws remaining. We're gonna just check. Check it down. Ten. Ten. Boom. Win. Scoop. Yeah. 
Uh, no, I haven't heard Dutch argue, but he does. I like how she moderates his uh, she moderates his chat. So when he gets a question, she likes you know sifts through the questions and then fires off a question for him, and he answers it and goes from there. That's good. I like that. But I mean, you have to have a committed girlfriend, wife, roommate, whatever. I wants to do that for multiple hours because he plays tournaments, so it can be like, you know, six, seven, eight hours. Who knows? It's not like he's playing cash games where he can just be like, I need you for two hours. She's not always there. She's there a lot, though. Ben's in the chat saying, I think it will be fine if we're both in the same house playing mixed feelings. It'd be cool if we drew different tables. And then we could just like play and be on camera at the same time. But like is that or is that like unethical? Because then he can see my hands, I can see his. But you guys the other guys playing can't see anything, so it's probably not fair. Maybe you can just sit me like in the in the study away from me. Anyway, but uh, he goes, but if I have to, I'll go to McDonald's. People have a good dinner there. Oh, I'm hungry. Speaking of food, 7.14, dinner time. Let's check what Dutch is for me. The Dutch Boy Poker Show. Oh, nothing. Stream starts soon. 28 people watching an empty screen. Not bad. We have like four people. So he knows what he's up to. He's got a good following though. We're just done. We can't be some of it like right off the right off the bat. We got we got to build. Get some chip updates. Make it doff up that big PLO hand and knock out to pretty much knock out Ben. 4,500. I got 41. Brent up there with 39. Donnie on the other table, 34. Faith, 33. Grumpy, 33. Matt, 23. And sitting out happy for 1,800. And we're about, we're going up to 8,160 soon. Who knows how long he'll last. But he outlasted one. He got one point. Not bad. Not bad. You look, I think you, I'm just checking out a group chat. He says he's in a leaf spa watching the hockey game. That is why he is not playing, but he can play on his phone. If he really wanted to, he's in Canada, he's in Toronto. I, th I believe he's in Toronto. All yours, Brent. All yours. Don't even think about it. So, guys, we need to outlast Happy Freak at least. We cannot last before him like Ben did. Now, we could do some some uh, tricky stuff. Like timing down. But that's not cool. I mean, part of the game, but... You need to do that right now. If, it, if push comes to shove, maybe. Alright, we're defending pretty lightly at a small King Jack. Mickey called two. I'm gonna call one. I think we can just snap fold one pair and then we'll hold. We just need Duff to fold and then we'll go from there. Not a good card. When he checks behind, I feel like we got it, but there's we can't put a bet in. The real problem is if he bets. And he doesn't. He could have had a king. He had a pocket jacks. Jack 10, pocket 10s. Get a queen 9 for air. Complete. And out of air. So we're going to win another. I'm going to open this Jack 10. We have a nice little 3 bet from Merrim Duff. Do we not fold it? We do not. We love, love playing putts with Mickey. Hmm. I think we're just going to give up. Nah. We're going to catch the 9 of spades here and watch. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
Nearly. Nearly got it. <clears throat> Nearly. I had the chip lead off him. I, I took it off him and just gave him back. Full handle him and hold him game in the future. This is the semi Cadillac. This is the Cadillac convertible. Wait. This would be. Hmm. How? What would be the version of a downgraded version of the car? No. Like I'm thinking, like obviously an upgrade is like a sedan. Like a convertible, that's the upgrade. So I'm thinking, what's the one where it goes the sports wagon? This is the Cadillac wagon, the lemon hold on Cadillac wagon. Yeah, we got pretty lucky that hand 10 7. Floated in with the gut shot, hit a 7, take the lead, and we hit another 7. Lead out, get caught. And we're in the chip lead. I run out and get a bag of something, a bag of kid snacks. I'm starving. Hey, they're saying that my fourth place sit out score last week was your best ever. I know. Saying, I know I'll never top that again. If I bust, uh, no, nah, I was going to say, if I bust seven, I should auto sit out. I didn't even sit out last week because I played it like an hour, I think. I could check my text message log. Pretty much game started at 6.30, which was 5.30, no, it was 7.30 mountain time. And I left, what time was it? 8 o'clock? Was it 8 o'clock? I think 8 o'clock I had to go to the, the party. I played for like half an hour. Right. Doubled my stack in like half an hour. What are we playing? Limit on my high I'm going to fold this terrible hand. Jack, five, nine, ten, rubbish, but Merendorf, we are going to battle. Like I said, guys, it's war. Man, what are you doing, Duff? Fine, have it, have it. Mickey Duff, have it. We have the queen, we have the king queen. With the five, we're the queen five full house. I'm gonna raise it up. Ace is single suited. With the ace three too. Let's catch that deuce for five. We got top set, we got no low I mean we have a low. And ain't a low is gonna win. We just need to pay the board. Pay the board check. Go. Scoop. 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 Bitty do da. Dip bitty day. Mickey must have like. He must have the three in his hand. As well. He had a six six jack. What Mickey Duff? What are you doing? A six six jack. He was drawing dead. Dead, I tell you. Alright. Uh, Eight, seven, five, six. We are not putting any other chips in this pot unless we have to. We have to, so we fall. <clears throat> so, any of you guys out there, you guys watch any YouTube people? I hope you're watching my channel. It's new, but I hope you're on there. 
there's a lot of other good poker people on YouTube, but nothing for mixed games yet. So I'm going to try and ex target that market. Interesting. Yeah. Chop, chop. A lot of you probably know the Trooper. Trooper 97, I think it is. This guy, man, he pumps it out like a vlog every day. Maybe five, six a week. Every day. Ten, maybe like, I think the average is probably like 70 minutes, 20 minutes. Maybe it's actually a little less. Maybe it's like 15. He just cranks them out non stop. Like, gotta give him credit. Another good guy, Andrew Nimi. Most, he's like the popular guy right now. Pretty much plays 2 5, five 10. Oh, no, no limit hold on, but the quality of his stuff is really good. Like, top notch. Um, there's a couple other guys out there. Jeff Boski does tournament stuff, but. No offense, he's kind of a douche. I've actually like had to track him in a tournament. I knew him already. I wasn't a fan, but I don't know. I don't love his stuff. I watch it, but I don't like. I think he's a little bit of a dickhead. Um, who else? Brad Owen plays like two five no limit. He's okay. He's friends with both Andrew and Jeff. I'm gonna fold this in. I think yeah. Second pair? Yep. And then there's a couple of other funny, there's some funny guys out there. There's this one, he's Poker Kraut, he's friends with Trooper. He's actually pretty, um, he's not bad, he's interesting. English isn't good, his graphics are all over the place. There's another guy, I can't remember his name, but he, he uses like pieces of paper for cards. And not for cards, but for like the button. Like he draws... He cuts out a circle of A4 paper and writes B for button or BB for big blind. I mean, just download some graphics or use text. Like, PokerCraft's cards are all over the place. Like, if you guys watch my YouTube videos, I mean, my cards are pretty nice. They're all, like, perfectly aligned. I mean, I spent obviously spent time doing it. Another guy is kind of like him. His name's Pokemonk. He's an older guy. And he, um... He's a low limit player. You know, he's some of his concepts are um, not interesting, that's the wrong word. He's not bad. I mean, he's not great, but he's like, he's more like at the beginner level. But, I mean, I like to absorb as much as I can. So his stuff's, I mean, I watch it. Uh, there's another guy, he's a truck driver. I think his name is like, this sounds racist, but it's like Panoy something. Like he's Filipino. Like Panoy Im Panoy Image? Something. Um he does he's he produces some okay stuff. He's got a drone now, like Andrew Nimi. Drives his track. He's not the greatest poker player, but um It's interesting. Like the trooper. People don't think he's very good. I don't think he's that good. But his stuff's interesting. As if you got people watching, that's all that matters. There's an audience out there for, for anyone. These are all Vegas people. Obviously, a lot of people that live Midwest and stuff that produce some stuff. That Pokemon guy, sorry, he's out. Midwest, no, I say more East. I think it's like Detroit area because he plays at some of those places. Um, but there's some good, there's a lot of stuff out there. Oh, I'm just trying to get involved, trying to get. Get a piece of the pie, get a piece of the action. Once I get the, my vlog, I'm, I'm not gonna vlog. These guys like vlog every day. All, all their things are vlogs. I'm trying to do like a bigger cross section of things. Like, obviously, I've loaded the Twitch week from last week. I'll do week two maybe tomorrow or something. But I got the how to play mixed games. I got the spring update, I'll do a summer update. And then I'm gonna do my vlog and then my, I won't have another vlog for a while. It's going to be interesting. Maybe I'll have one at the World Series or something. But it'll be like a week vlog. That's what this one is, a week. Let's say over like six days. But I've got a lot of hand analysis stuff I want to do. Just put it out there. Prepare prepare for the criticism. Faith is saying Andrew Nimi's vlog better than the Trooper. Yeah, it's better, but the Trooper does it every like every day. That's like pretty insane. Andrew Nimi stuff, guys, if you haven't seen it, is really, 
really top class. Got the good cameras, got the drone, nice guy. I just, I mean, I find the trooper interesting. Uh, I kind of skipped the poker stuff actually and just listened to him talking about coffee. I actually saw him at my local uh, Starbucks one day. I was going through drive through and in my head I was like, oh my god, it's the trooper! I told my wife, I was like, oh my god, I just had the gayest fanboy moment. And it's not a fanboy, I was like, oh my god, it's a trooper. Because he's, he's always, he, when he films, that Starbucks is literally like two minutes away from us and we go there a lot, especially after I dropped Jane off at of school. That's the one I go to. It's funny, it's, you see him there all the time. Like every video, he has, every video he drinks like three cups of coffee, hot and cold, but like he goes to that one a lot and I always see him on the video and like finally saw him one day. He wasn't filming, but I saw him heading out as I was going through drafting. Brent Harrington saying, cool haircut to me. I got a little while. I got it before I went to Canada. It's already grown out. I'm already over it. I need it's shorter. Yeah, but I'm afraid it's like Jeff Bowes give tournaments, but but he's so bad. So bad. Like he just he's like, well, like a three bet nine three, and then I triple barrel bluff nine three, and he had bottom pair. I'm out. I'm out. He's just a bit of a. I don't know. He's got results, but he just like he's in that. Uh, who there's people that just want to win every hand they play, and he's one of them. But I mean, aggression wins. Like you have to be aggressive in these tournaments. Right, so he goes fold. I bring him with an eight. And he goes fold, fold. I mean, he's auto completing right. So I think the ten is. The right price to call. He catches a pair. We we catch a pair. Doesn't change a thing. I'm gonna peel one more. Like I said, his range is pretty wide when it folds to him, and I'm bringing him with an eight. Good card for him, us. Good card for him for us. So we're gonna take the lead and bet. We got a ten load draw. Dealy just gave him a fold here. Three calls. Literally, nearly every time the deck will improve our hand and give us a, a mega blow. Obviously, outside of a 6, 10, 8, 9. King, no good. And we rip. The other thing I don't like about Jeff, like, I mean, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm a little OCD, but I like the way people present their stuff, make it professional. And his is just kind of a little whack. I mean it's a lot of other people's are like that. You know, when I use some cards, like if you guys go look at the videos, please look at the videos, subscribe, like, share, all that. You see that I you know found these really nice cards. It took me ages to find them. And basically I put them in the, the editor and position them right. Um, so they're all lined up. But like some of these guys have different sized cards, different, like from different decks, and they just randomly like that, just like sitting off center and stuff. And um, like I said, some people use just A4 paper and write stuff on. Some people just put Jeff Jeff Bosky and a couple others they put like the letter A and then a heart. That's not that bad. Um, but his like breakdowns are like just he's got like green a picture of green felt and he puts the cards there, and he could do it, puts the letters and the suits there. Could do a little bit more is what I mean. Alright, we got a little hand here. Brent brought it in. We completed it. He's three bet. So it feels like he has to have a big pair, right? So we're going to double bet. I mean, the chance of me having rolled up eights is pretty slim. And he just mucks. So maybe he had like three clubs. I don't know. I think that's right though. If he has jacks, like, shouldn't he take one more? No point checking. No bet. If he's going to call one bet, he might as well call two. I don't know. Remco is in! He's in! 700 chips! Come back of the cinch! Maybe. Who else Who else we got on YouTube that's kind of good? Um, we got, you got the obvious ones. You got like uh, Doug Polk. You got Joe Ingram. Well, Joe Ingram doesn't 
do anything on YouTube. He just does his uh, podcast. But Joe Ingram, Doug Polk pumps out content. He has people editing for him. Um, who does it? What's his name? I think it's, uh, what's he? Uh, he used to work for Bluff. Tom. Seriously, serious. Oh, seriously, Cyrus. What is it? Whatever. He used to do the bluff stuff. So he does Doug. So Doug pumps out stuff. That's because he's not editing. He just films, sends it to the guy. When you have to edit yourself, God, it takes ages. Um, no, you got well, you got uh, Jamie Stapes. He does two. He has his personal channel, and he has his poker channel. Um. His personal channel is actually the one I watch because he's doing this weightless bet and he does daily vlogs. His poker channel is all these like you know Twitch stuff, and I haven't watched any of that yet. Um, and then you have this other guy that I follow on Twitch. I find him kind of interesting. He's um, he's a poker star pro. His name's Felix Schneider's. I think it's XX Flick Flicks with X's. He's like from Germany. No, Germany doesn't sound right. Holland, that doesn't sound right either. He's from Europe. I'm not trying to be racist. From Europe. He plays spinning goes. His stuff's like he's fun, man. Like that's what's important. Like his Twitch streams, he's fun. He's in, he does Instagram stories, he's fun there. Um, don't know don't think he's the best player. He plays low limit stuff. Some of the stuff he's I've seen, the lines he takes are ideal. But he does a lot of coaching and stuff, so I'm not sure if it's like he's Using it for coaching and stuff, but he's good. I, I I watch his stuff on Instagram actually. His stories are more kind of fun, and he's like writing like a strategy book, a spin and go guide. I think. Oh guys, I came up with the best book idea. I can't say, so I might I might actually do it during the summer. Pump it out. You know, part of my process of getting to a point of where I want to be poker wise. This is like a big step, and it will involve a lot of people that are watching right now, and will involve people playing in this. That's a hint. Take it as you will. Um, I gotta run it by some people first, but I think it's a good idea. I normally run through. I normally run all my ideas through uh, through through Ben, who's actually out busted in ninth. And I, knowing him, it is currently ten thirty in New York. He is probably not watching anymore. I oh, know. No, he's not watching. But you know, I'll call him well, when he comes here. I'll talk it through. I think it's a cool idea. I got the idea from Joey Ingram. You know, he had a prop bet. Hey, he wrote this book. I think he bet. They bet him a thousand dollars, and obviously that's not a lot of money for Joey. And he was like, "I'll do it." And he wrote this forty thousand page book in. I think he had like a month, and he did in two weeks. So that's where my idea stemmed from. I can't take the exact idea. You guys will steal it. You'll poach it. All right, what do we got here? Brent completing with a queen. We got the king over. Now we could three bet, but the problem is he's got a king. He's not gonna believe me. Let me call. We're gonna try to take it away. Not yet though. Now we got lucky. Sorry, Brent. I know you're watching. I can see on the Twitch page it says online friends Brent Harrington three watching tramp stuff. Apologies for that here. I really wanted to catch like the ten, the ace, and take it away then. But I'll take the king. I'll take the king. All right, and I guess I do know it was start high low, but everyone was playing high, so it's okay. Uh, we'll fold here. But anyway, back to YouTube. Who else we got? Who else we got on YouTube? That's interesting. I should just pull it up. That might be the easier way. Negrano beards. Faith. I mean, I know you like to watch everything. But I think I, th I feel like Negrano stuff is very clickbaity, just like Doug Polk's, you know. Oh, we lost one. Oh, what happened? Missed it. All right, Master Pooh's all. Oh, he was short. Yeah, he was all in. I uh, guess all right, but he was all in. Start eight. And so he pretty much just went with his hand. He started six seven four against Ace five six. Brent made a seven low and Kings versus. Queen, high, no low. So that's a little unlucky from Matt. He's out. Faith makes that buffer. And we're in an interesting spot here. We got Happy Freak on the other table with 600 chips. 
I got I'm sitting I'm first in chips. We don't need to do anything silly. We got kings up, we're gonna lead out here. That's not a good card, it could easily make aces up. We'll go bet again. We're always checking the river unless we fill. Check. We win. Problem with the grind and faith is a lot of clickbait stuff. Yeah, I was about to say Jake Cody. Jake Cody's he needs to vlog more, but his stuff's pretty good. Um, but like, like I, I mean, I guess Nagano does a bit of a bit of everything. We've chatted about YouTube a little bit. He doesn't think there's much of a market for mix. I don't either, but I mean, I don't want to produce no limit stuff. Might as well do some fun mix game stuff. Have some fun doing it. Um. What just happened here? But yeah, Negron Negron half edits his and half has his assistant edit his, which is fine. Um his uh, like the way his stuff looks. Nothing really interests me though. So Okay, we're gonna have an interesting hand here. Two guys have highs, you know, complete with the jack, cold with the three. We have the low, so we're just gonna. If we're only getting hot, we want this part as big as possible, but we need to keep them all in. And that kind of sucks. It's a good, good, interesting card. Pair of six, got a bet again. If we check, it looks too obvious. We got a low. But, I mean, he has to have a high that beats it. Well, we got trips. Maybe we get it. But he should have a straight a lot. Here's a flush. Flush is good. We went six. Six? Nah, it's too greedy. Um, I'm looking at my YouTube channel. I'm looking at who I follow. Live at the bike. Alec Torelli. I don't watch any of Alec Torelli stuff. I just, it's actually at the bottom of the list. So I don't. Trying to see it first. Is that was that a good excuse? I don't think it is. All right, it looks like oh, happy freak design, but he survives. And we race a small line with air. We have to see about this. One seventy-five. We need Duff to just snap fold. Hopefully, he has absolutely nothing. He's thinking. That's scary. He's thinking. He's thinking. 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 And he raises us. Now. We could get real funky and just go like 925. But we're not going to. Three hand and no limit hold him. Cadillac. We just need, no offense, Remco, we need you out. We need to get to this final table and go from there. We got the fours. We're going to raise the button. Pretty whiffy flop. I'm going to check behind. Try and get cheap show down here. Oh, cool. Close. One pip less. Take that pip off. And we're going to fold. We probably should just fold the turn. That's saying, uh, yeah, I got crushed. We got the eight deuce. Eight deuce. A button pair. We're gonna call him down. When he checks, we're back. That's a good card, but I think he has a four. And if he has a deuce, most likely we'll lose him. So we check. Yep, there it is. Too easy to read, Brent. Too easy to read. I think I lost my mic. Guys, I think I lost my mic. I think we're back. Back. I think we're back. Alright, we got the queens. We're going to three bet. We've got a favorable flop. We're going to continue. 425. 425.
Hmm. It's just like the queens we had in exact the same situation, it's the exact same play before. Bad turn. It was not bad actually. Knowing, I know he's watching, so knowing how he played the hand last time and how I, like, dealt with the hand myself, like, it changes the way he thinks. It changes the way he plays his range of hands. Now, I don't love my bet, but I think I have to do it for value. If he does shove, I kind of have to fold, which kind of sucks. Actually, I'm... If he like raises, I'm more likely to fold than if he shoves. But my plan is to just fold to any heat. But maybe I get some value out of like, maybe he's got ace king or ace queen and he thinks I'm bluffing. Or thinks I'm just trying to buy the pot with the same hand and he calls. He could have tens, jacks, nines. He could have pocket fives. Some hands I can get value out of. Obviously, my hand is pretty susceptible to a bluff. <laughs> he just wrote trying to time out long enough to see your hand on the string. <laughs> You're funny, Brent. Alright, let's board. Happy free chip and up 1100 chips. Human Faith battling for the lowest chip stack. Faith still has 2700 though. Think I'm about to change this game. Yep, Pete. Uh, oh, big blind 9753. We do know Mickey hates PLO. I'm trying to put in some awkward spots. Probably not that ain't flop, but someone who doesn't like is more likely just to like pot. Pot pot with his hands. Does want to get tricky. We got two pair. Nine ten in Mickey's range. Hmm, Jack eight, Jack seven. I have one blocker. Well, We nearly got a good high degree here. We nearly. Like I said, gonna pressure and doff as much as we can. He needs the points, but he needs the win, not just the points. Alright, let's play a hand, let's play a pot, let's battle. Didn't get what we wanted. Do we have a straight draw? Mini half under wrap. We're gonna call one, try and spike that seven. Did not spike the seven. If he checks here, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna pot it? I think we have to bet. Looks like we're valuing. 475. He probably would fall out all he's just ace rags. You know, but he plays ace jack the same, you would think. Ace jack and any kind of decent straight draw, flush draw. In fact, we have no pair really hurts. I mean, we just had one pair, it would give us some showdown value. It's a tough spot though, call, call 500 with 2800 chips. Best bet is just to shove it all in. <laughs> Like I said, the name of the game today is pressure. He calls. T 
terrible call. Because we're dead. Let me catch the worst river. We're folding the 25 chips. We're folding the one chip. We have nothing. All yours. All yours. It's a little better. King, Queen, Jack, three single suited. I'm going to win some of these chips back. Cut the first draw. I wish that four was like a deuce. Now, Mickey did play a weird hand for it. He checked down the knots. The whole way. The river. So I am worried, regardless of what he does here. I'm checking in. We've got one pair. We've got some showdown. Love a ten of hearts. We'd love a ten of hearts. We've got an eight of hearts. Let me just bet them in. Bet them in. Um, Min 60, right? Yeah, min 60. My bad. Alright, go a little bit back. Go a little bit back. Game change. I oh, know. One more hand. One minute. Then we got the blocker though, we got the King of Hearts blocker, so we are going to put in one big bet, and that's it. No more. And they went 4 fold. That was the key card, the King of Hearts. Very important for that hand. Get a walk. Love it. Love it. Gotta get back over 6,000. Trying. We got one more hand. No, it's it. Pete. Do the so. Look at this. Look at this thing. We are going to raise. We got the very ugly one draw. But we have to. Can't just sit there folding all night. Like I said, it's all about the pressure. Except this hand. Where am I? This hand. If that 10 was a 9, maybe we'd play. We'll keep the 9. Let's go, limp raise here, call, draw two, draw two, check, Brent bets, oh, check raise by Duff, call by Brent, must be Pat, draw one, yep, Pat and draw one, bet, call, Pat. Now, what is Mickey's Pat range? I don't really know, I feel like it's got to be good, eight, nine, yep, nine smooth, versus the eight rough, ish, rough ish. I think uh, when Mickey checks, you should go for value, Brent. It's close. It's very close. I'll play, I think Mickey played that perfectly. Right? Yeah, knew he wasn't getting much value on the river. Check raise when he had it. No point breaking. Nine smooths, good. We're going to draw to the eight, seven. Blech. Obviously they both win, but it's hard to make those hands. Alright, Brent Lamps in. Draws three. We missed the raise, but it's okay. We made the A rough. We are going to fold. We're going to stand pat. We're going to bet. We are going to always check the river. Eight rough. Eight rough out position. You do not get called by much. It's pretty, it has to be a pretty specific situation to get a call when to value bet the, the rough eight. Mm. Got a blocker. Now we can three bet draw the nine. 3 bet draw to the 6, call and draw to the 6 of the 9, or just fold. I'm going to just fold. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the scene. Alright, we're going to see this anyway. Mickey draws 2, Brent draws 2. So we're not going to be in bad shape in either of our situations. Check, check. Probably going to go 2 and 1, or 1 2. Yeah, 1 and 2. And leg it out. Take it down. Make it doff. Get some chips back. <laughs> Looks like Faith and Happy Free tied for last place. Faith must have lost some pots. All right, what do we got? We got a deuce and an eight on the button. Now let it go again. You just can't get that uh, that key button hand right now.
Alright, we've got a little bit of something some Three to an eight in the big blind. Always calling one pit. Could keep the ten, yep. But I ain't going. We've got a, a tie to play. Always going to throw the ten, if not fog. Now we're three way action. Call. We drew. Okay. We got Nate Doogie. Now we're 2 2 1, so we're not going to lead out. This is a tough spot because we would hate to put in three, to have to put in two bets. <laughs> Question here is if we call, do we pat? Depending on Brent does, right? We really need Duff to fold. Okay, Duff calls. If Brent, okay. Guess we toss the 10, right? Yeah, I should have just folded. It's an awkward spot. Yeah, in no way he ever has better than worse than a 10, right? And Mickey's pat too, so. Yeah, in, in hindsight, this is the right play. We just didn't get there. I wonder if we'll join dead. 8 6. We'll join dead before in a similar spot. We have 8 6 something. We're going to get a look here, surely. 8 6. Yep, we were drawing dead. 8 7. Damn. Big hands. Some big hands. <laughs> Mickey, run better. Oops. In my defense, is the highest I've finished so far, Brendan Sony. <laughs> oh, we got the Kings. Got the pocket Kings. That is not a friendly flop. I gotta look him up. <sighs> Must be nice, Duffed. Two outs. I didn't have clubs, did I? No. I had a club, not the clubs. Okay, I'm gonna grind it back. We got the king four suited on the button. We raise it up. I'd like to pick up this part uncontested if possible. No, we got three bet. We have four. We're here. We go. Top pair. Does he have aces? Does he have ace king? We have a queen. We're gonna call. That's a good card. Because now we beat. We have a lot of hands right there. Now we're just worried about two hands. Ace, queen, ace, and aces. Can't fold though. We've got a full house. So he checks now. Maybe he has the king. Does he ever fold if I'm bad? He probably doesn't fold again. That's okay. We got one back. Got one back. All right. Come on. Good grind. Good grind. Ace Jack suited. We're calling. We're calling wild bed here. We got back to space. We got a gut shot. That's a break. He checks. We may have the best hand. He may have ace king. But we have to bet. If he has ace king, my fault. We should bet the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. King Jack High. No good, Brent. Get that garbage out of here, son. Get it out of here.
All right, we raised the seven four off in a small. We fought top pair. The Mickey calls. We're gonna bet. We got a club draw. He folds. We gotta get to this final table, guys. Come on. Stay forever. <laughs> Pretty raggedy flop. I'm gonna say bet though. Like I said, fire, fire, fire. Good card. Flush draw, straight draw. We need. What do we want? We want the straight, right? Jack of diamonds. Got a pair of tens. Could be good. We're gonna call. Nice hand, nice hand. We were drawing you dead. Dead on the turn. Looks like Faith is all in. She's got seven, six of clubs versus Remco's ace four. Flop is four, five, four. Dead on the turn. Repeat four. Queen on the river. Looks like we're gonna lose Faith. We are going to lose Faith. And we are now at the final table. Of six. And I am second in chips. Me and Mickey still battling out. Lemon Hollow Man here. Could have Ace King. We're just going to play this check call. Line. We need the King of Clubs on the river. That's our gin. Call. King of Clubs. Now, do we lead out? Do we check race? Do we just check folk? Check call. Does he have the King of Clubs? I'm going to bet. He's thinking. Now if he raises, I'm gonna spew. I'm gonna spew call. And I vomit on the chips and then just give them to him. Covered in vomit. Yeah. Can't show the ace. No, I can't show the ace. Alright, final table time. Alright, let's look at the chip cards. I with that hand, I am in the lead. 7300. Grumpy, 696 has 6600. Brent. High five is 52. Don Peters, 35. Mickey Duff, 47 plus 6, 2400. Happy Freak. Blinded down to like 700. He's at the final table. 1700 chips. He's channeling the Tim Duckworth from last week. Channeling it. Donnie Peters says top two pay 97. I mean, because that top two play, pay, play money chips of 97,500 play money chips. Second, 52,500 play money chips. Uh, points the rest of the way, 19. Let's look at the points. 19.7 for first. So I'm going gonna, gonna to write these down because I got three jacks. I got to nearly go to the hundred. All right. First is 20 points. So if I was to win, I would still not be in the top three. I would be fourth, depending on results here. If Happy Freak busts, he would go to 42, 42, 9. If I win, oh my god, I would be fifth still. So I best I can finish is fifth. And obviously, where's I can finish is, you know, same spot I'm in right now. But if I get the win, I get to, I get the play money chips. Play money chips. And um, I can move right up that leaderboard. All right, we got the do nearly the doogie. We're gonna fall. King four six five in the muck straight away. Now look at the oh I, I yeah forgot about Grumpy chip chip leader S chip leader right now seventeen hundred and number one on the league standings with sixty one points. If he's to win today, he'll go up to eighty. Points, and will be pretty nearly uncatchable unless you're a top three. You know, Faith, who just busted 50 points, you know, she's a win away from being up there. Master of Pooh, same thing, 50 points. 
he's a win away from contending. Same with Happy Freak, same with Donny, so this is pretty big. This is pretty big for everyone left. You know, the only one that doesn't really matter is um, pretty much Brent and Mickey, because the most, well actually Brent can go up to like 26 points. So he would actually leapfrog me depending on where I finish. He can jump into ninth. Mickey, same kind of thing. He's on the bottom with three points. He needs as much help as he can get. We all need help, you know. Pretty much, Remco and Donny and Grumpy can lock up a payout. While me and and uh, while me can be in a position to make a run with another result. So this is a big final table. Now I did play pretty aggressively the last on the. Uh, other table. I may switch it up here. We're going to see how things go. Surrounded by two short sacks right now, so we got to kind of, you know, see what develops. Oh, top set. Should have called. Should have three bet. Should have four bet. Should have capped it. Should have moved all in. Big part for Remco, yes. He's got one bet left. Probably got a low. Real question is does he have. Can he scoop? Nope. He checks. Gonna take the low. And the high is going to the grump. <clears throat> I'm about to get a game change. Yep, limit res. We are playing this hand some way or form. We're just hoping it's not three bits to us. Donnie and Remco are the ones we got to watch out for. You know. We're just going to go. Terrible card, but he's not betting, so. Gonna let him have it. Gonna let him have it. Here we go. <clears throat> See if we can win one. Can't be sticky, sticky. Nope. Oh my. Still rise for it. Oh, let's look at these chips again. Grumpy's still on top, 7,000. They're sitting there with 64. 
Uh, Brent, 47, but he's playing a putt right now. Followed by Water 7 plus 6, who's also playing putt. Then Happy, Freak, and Donny both below 3,000. And now Mickey is the short stack, 1,700. Like I said, we definitely need to try and bust out a couple. Put us on the bubble. Gotta get that cash. Gotta get it. <laughs> we got we got position here, so if we can get the nope, doesn't happen. Doesn't matter. Still raz, still bringing it in. Jack clubs, not defending even with the A6. Especially against an open number one position complete. Although it is Mickey. Could start a war. Maybe we should have. Just, just for the crowd. Just for the fans. Can some uh, start high hands just about ten seconds too early? Oh, it's gonna be a little battle here. Paint be paint. Oh, good. Both got good cards. Mickey checks. He probably paid the five. Not because he catches another good one. Probably pay the ace. Check check. This guy's a soft check again. Bet. Oh, doffed eleven hundred in chips. And Brent Harrington second now passes me. Game switch. Limit stud. Now we get a, a mini Razian. Of course. Like I said, if I need this the most, Brent probably needs this the second minus the three guys that already have you know good position in the on the leaderboard. Just had a nice little run since we get to the final take. Happy freak chipping them nicely after being blinded down a seven hundred. Another res hand, we fold. Buried threes, all high cards above us, we're just going to let it go. We don't need to dunk off any chips here. <sighs> Another spectacular res hand. I'll start high low. We aren't playing either. Fold again. Mickey's trying to chip up. He's trying. This is the hand. He needs a double. Ooh, he nearly pretty much doubles.
him and Happy Freak battling out. Shield stacks right now. I might have a spot here. Two kings are dead. I got the only ace up. Remco brings it in. He's short. Can't try and bluff him. He's going to be. Basically, need to catch an ace for him to, to fold. And even then, he might have too much equity. Maybe he catches a seven. He's got, you know, jack 10, 9, 7. Or he's got 10. And then he's got like 9, 9, 8, 7. He is a spot. Buried Kings against Grumpy. Let's pretend we have a flush draw. All the spades are out. I'm pretty much calling the out. So. It's a bad card for me. Queen. Could have given him trips. Obviously he could have ace now. He has two queens. What did he start with though? Jack 10. A pair of nines. Split nines. We've got lots of outs against split nines. Cool, I'm going to cover the screen and call. He checks. We need to make two pair. We did not. He wins. <sighs> Got the front over 7,000 chips now. Can't get anything going. Nothing at all. Alright, let's try it with the queen. Oh, it's not a high low now. Alright, we're fine. Not a good, good couple of us for us at all. Not at all. <sighs> Maybe I should go back to editing my video so I can be distracted from these terrible hands. Could get the walk here, just start high low. We're gonna defend, I think. We're gonna play bad. That's a great card for us. Great card. Maybe we need to log off. Log back here, maybe get some run good. We had run good at the start. Got none now. But next game is the Cadillac. No limit, hold on. So that's where we have to. Oh, look at this. We got a chip graph. That's pretty cool. Why is it got mixed? Ah. Not a bad car. Not the not the best. Two pair, but he paid up. We could have tripped up. I think I have to bet here. We got two pair, we got a low draw. Alright, we got one. Finally, we win a hand.
Grumpy playing a big butt here against Mickey. Could bust Mickey. Most likely going to be chopped if Mickey doesn't scoop. He leads out. Mickey's all in. Now oh, he's got a scoop. Grumpy's going to fold. It's a big putt for Duff. 3,500 now. Leap throws two players. It's a big, big spot. We're going to complete. We got the pretend lower drop. Maybe other people think we got ace 4 3, ace 6 3. Really only got dupe 3 and some diamonds. Not a good card for either of us. We've got diamonds now. King, queen. If I bet, it's hard for him to, it's unlikely for him to have diamonds, right? So we're going to bet. Nope, that's not good. We've got absolute puddles of nothing. The pair of nines is going to get the whole thing. <sighs> yep. Just how it's going. Pittsville. Three, five, six. Got a nine, got a king, got a loose, got a nine. We might have been able to win that somewhere else. If we bet the if we bet fourth, bet fifth, he probably doesn't call him. Doesn't get to six, but but look, I mean, yeah, we should bet fourth and fifth. <sighs> Ideally, we need to get to no limit hold him. I need a bust, blind on blind, happy freak. We need to lose Donny Peters, go four handed. Put us in a spot. We've got to be in a spot to make the money. That's the tough part. And with the way the cards are going right now, it's not looking promising. This part could change things. 2,000 in the middle, two short stacks involved. And the big stack is leading the betting, so that's a good sign. Oh, looks like Happy Freak will be all in here. At least got a pair of sevens. Mickey should have a low draw. If he falls here, this will be terrible. I know he's thinking about it. He calls. Three aces for Doft. Full house. The happy freak. He scoops. The butt. What is seven plus six? Also had a low draw. Six low draw, two aces, made three aces, loses all of it. Pretty crazy. And now basically Remco and uh Mickey flip flop in the standings. Happy freak up to third, I'm fourth. What is seven plus six? Fifth. Donnie Peters sixth. Grumpy and Brent out in the lead. Second and first respectively. Let's follow it to Donnie on the button. He moves all in. 2,027 chips. He gets called by Brent. It's ace, eight of clubs versus fives. Donnie flops a flush draw. Needs an ace, a club, an eight. King of spades on the turn. It's a seven of clubs on the river. Done. Peters doubles up. 4,249 chips. Brent Harrington down at 5,400. We're in the big. We're under the gun. We're going to open. 350 king, queen suited. <laughs> Action, I make that 350 on the gun. Action's on Donnie Peters in the cutoff. He's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. He three bets. 675. Action's on Happy Freaking the Big. What's he gonna do? He's gonna have cold four? We're gonna get the cold four bet? We get the cold four bet, guys. Can you see what's going on? I made 350. 
Donnie made a 675. Happy freak 1100. Should I just bang it? 3,000. 3,000 chips. 3,000 chips. That's like a gazillion big blinds. We're going to go on the time bank for a little bit. Let's think. Actually, think about this. It's a 20 BB shove. He's going to have to call 2,000 more. He's never folding. I'm not getting away with this. What's he going to have? Jacks? Tens? King Jack suited? Oh, yeah. Fold. Oh, man. What's Dunny going to do? Back, back on Dunny. Pretty cheap. It's only 500 more to look at 23. So he's pretty much getting 5 to 1. He's never folding. Unless he's 3 bet like 7 does. He should never fold. And even if he's 3 bet 7 does, he shouldn't fold. Donnie Peters, what kind of Cadillac are you driving? Love it. I oh, really love it. A Dutch one. Wow. Dutch ones are the best ones. All right. Donnie's in the tank here. He folds. Geez, that's an interesting hand. Interesting spot. <laughs> Grumpy Cadillac got a flat tire. Yep. I ain't scared, Happy Freak says. Oh, what he had? Ace King. Tony thinks I found the Jacks. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. I'm, I'm definitely getting Jacks in. We're getting the lane We see King Seven, Jack Three. Happy Freak. What happened here? We need to see what happened here. Let's get the replay. Looks like Donny. Uh, sorry, Rimko said he had Kings. That hand. Let's look at this hand. So button raise. We're gonna get a call on the small or three bet from Happy Freak in the small blind. Frank calls. Um, and wait, I lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. And I call by Brent on the button. Seven four three goes back call, and then Happy Freak ships it on, and loses bottom pair. Looks like he is flopped bottom set. The cracks aces. Justice served. He's back up to six hundred chips. Mickey Dove have to go, but somehow play like. F and trash. Does that mean he's leaving? I'm really confused right now. Or is he saying Happy Freak's leaving? Happy Freak saying was gonna sit out or gamble, have to go. Mickey Dove getting laying into him in the chat box saying, Oh, what do we got here? We got a bit of nothing, nothing, a bit of bottom two. Bit of up and downage to the bottom end. Not the bottom end, the middle end. We're gonna call. We're gonna peel. We're gonna catch the straight. Like it, now, it's not the bottom; it's the middle. So we lose to ten seven. I think we just call again. I think we don't need to get crazy. We're gonna cover it up. We don't want to see a uh, a bet on the river. We want to just get the showdown. Brent, he bets big thirty three hundred, and that is the not worst card for us. So we fold. I'm down to 900. Any other card, we're sticking it in. Any other card. This looks like it's six. I'm a luck for six now. It's battling me and Remco.
Now is Remke gonna call it off? So you're gonna try and get me to bust. He calls. Queen A deuce five monster. He has a five. Well, they're chopping right now. They chop. Chop it up. King, King, Jack, Seven. It's a pretty good fight for Grumpy, though. Not a good turn. And looks like Repco is doubling up. 1,500 chips are now the shot stack. And we're going to fall. He's 339. Now the difference between me getting one point if Happy Freak Bus doesn't do anything to my standings. So I basically have to go for it. At the moment I'm only up to 25, I haven't even passed half. If it was a lot closer, if I was up, you know, a couple bit higher, where the points matter, I need the big points. Hey, uh, I'm not going anywhere this rubbish. Got 400 in there, though. I'm going to go with it. Let's just go with it, guys. Let's just do it. Get it over with. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Boom! No, didn't get it. An eight and a deuce. Seven and a deuce. Nine and a three. Interesting. What am I drawing to? An eight or a deuce? Do I keep the nine? When does Happy Freight ever not have a nine? Sure, let's do it. Whatever. You got it? Yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Six. Ah. Maybe catch a queen. Maybe catch a queen. Alright guys, it's it. It's done. I saw Brett Carlson log on to watch. I think he was a bad luck chum. Nah, I'm just kidding, Brett. But guys, we're going to end it. I need to eat some food. I need to finish this video. I'm going to try and post it tonight. I'm going to play this quadruple face. Wait, what's it called? Let me, let me get the exact wording. Could ripple closed face Chinese with some friends. We play four different four game variations. High high high, high low high, low low low, badoogie badoogie badoogie. I lost forty dollars the other night playing one dollar a point. That was fun. Never played it before, so we may uh, play it tonight. Double deck, deal everyone in dragon hand. But guys, couldn't get it done tonight. Six. Um, well, next week, please, if you are still watching, go to my YouTube account, subscribe. Don't even need to watch the videos, just like some videos, share some videos. I'm going to put as much stuff up this week, get some pan analysis stuff, we'll go from there. But please, guys, subscribe. I need to get to 100. I need 100 subscribers so I can change the name. That's all I'm asking for, not much. 
yes, I could buy subscribers, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be hashtag king and buy all my subscribers and followers. Please, guys. Make your mom, make your dad, make your dog, make your sister. I made my wife subscribe. Anyway, guys, good luck to the final five. Happy Freak is sitting out now. Uh, we've got Donnie Peters, Mickey Duff, Grumpy, Crushin, Brent. You guys are all too good for me. See you all later. Peace. So after finishing fourth last week while lapping Canada for a work trip, I can only manage a sixth place finish this week as Brent High Five Harrington defeated Donnie Peters heads up to capture his first victory of the league. We are now officially on the home stretch and with five weeks remaining, the logjam up top is going to create some interesting poker dynamics going forward. So until next time, good luck out there. <laughs>